Thank you. We're joined by CBS 13 political analyst Gary Dietrich to analyze a couple of things for us. The Denim Harder race, no big surprise, but did you think it was going to be this tight? Well, tighter than most people want it to be, certainly. And, and make no mistake about it, this race is going to be done over again in 2020. When something ends this tight and Republicans want to take uh, control of the House themselves in two years, I think we could easily see a Denim Harder replay in two years. Hmm. This is not Denim's first rodeo. Having a tight race, we saw him just win by a couple percentage points right. in the previous election. So if he does, in fact, win here, Gary, what does this mean for his 2020 race? Well, I think he breathes a big sigh of relief when yeah. they, you know, they are anticipating the big blue tsunami. That mm -hmm. didn't crash as big in California as we thought it might. So I think they have to be relieved. But basically, his campaign starts today. Four Republicans like Denim assuming he, he wins, and you have McClintock, who, who won re-election. It's a different game in Washington for them because of the majority flipping. Totally different. I mean, if you had a chairmanship or a, 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 any subcommittee chair, that's gone. I mean, that's over. You're now part of the minority. You don't get to set the rules anymore. It's going to be a new day. And that's why I think uh, immediately Republicans are already going to be aiming for, hey, let's take this House back in just two years. What do you think both candidates are doing right now? Obviously, this is not how they wanted things to end. They, they want some answers. They want the results. What do they do in the meantime? It's just a hurry up and wait game. Yeah, there's not much they can do, but they will have their own election observers. Oftentimes, they'll have those, and they're allowed to do that, and watch the ballot counting to make sure we don't have any hanging chads out here, <laughs> but just to make sure that everything's done in the up and up, because a lot of these ballots uh, have to have signatures checked, et cetera. They can call Ami Bearer and Sheriff Jones, see what they did, right? They know a few things about it. Right? There's a lot of people that yeah. know tight races yeah. these yeah. days. I'd go golfing for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Yeah. All right, Gary, as always, thanks for your insight. Appreciate it.